We're back in Ojai, Ebony Panojo and Alexandra Osborne of Arizona State cruising to the championship. Three and one, we're pleased to be joined by the victorious team. Ebony, I'll start with you. What does it mean to capture the first doubles championship for Arizona State in women's tennis? I didn't actually know that was true, so uh, <laughs> that's a really great feeling. Alexandra, why do you think you folks have played so well as a team? Um, well, this is our second year playing together, and I think, you know, we're both Australian. We both gel really well together, and we both have a similar style, uh, doubles style. So, yeah, I think that's why. And talk about your style, because it was so fun to watch the way you guys play doubles, moving around at the at the net. Is that something that you grew up doing or something that you've worked on together? Yeah, um, I mean, both of us, I think, have had pretty good backgrounds in doubles where we're really aggressive traditional doubles players. So, um, I mean, both of us having that game is great. Ebony, you wrapped up the best conference finish ever for Arizona State this year, beating Stanford for just the second time in program history. Yeah. What's the mindset of your team heading into the postseason? I mean, we're feeling great. We're confident. But, you know, uh, once we get to NCAAs, it starts all over again, and we take one team at a time. And what do the next couple weeks look like for you guys as far as school, tennis, preparing for the NC2A tournament and that balance? Uh, yeah, I mean, I think we're going to have like a few days off and then obviously focus on school. We've got finals coming up next week. So once we get those done, back into it and then focusing on NCAAs. A student athletes work is never done. Never ends. Never. They know where the library <laughs> is. Congratulations on the win. Thank, Thank you so you. much.